That we are. Hmm. We were here last night around midnight, trying to fight the fire. As you can see, it could have gone better. They're all fine, don't worry. Right now, they're sleeping in at Minoria's Inn. Given the size of the fire, it's a miracle that no one was badly hurt. We're here now to clean up what we can. We really ought to check up on everyone in the inn. Ah, uh, indeed. Well, we haven't really got a good look yet, but... Yep, you're right, Joshua. rooted and strewn about the garden. So it looks like somebody tore up the garden as well, because the fire wouldn't have done this. Maybe it would have gotten torn up in the panic of trying to fight the fire, though. This wall in particular seems to be particularly badly... I mean, it's just gone, so... Before the fire started, with that... Well, if the hinge was actually completely removed, then that would make it easier to escape. Because you could just push on the door and it would fall over. Uh, best if both hin all hinges are removed. If only one was removed, it would make it harder to move the door. Uh, and if it was improperly removed, like if it was bent into shape, that would also make it harder to escape. Hmm. Taking a good look around. First of all, the fire doesn't appear to have started inside the building. It most likely started outside. Yeah, I agree. There's more damage here and all... I mean, forget that we saw the cinematic. There's more damage here, and also the ground around this area, the burn marks on the grass stretch out further than in any other point. Like, significantly further. Mm-hmm. Uh... 
Uh, well, it means it was probably not an accident. That smell everywhere? It's some highly flammable oil. If everywhere, it's everywhere around here, so this had to be the fire's point of origin. Plus, don't you think it's weird how everything outside is scattered around? Even the people fighting the fire wouldn't have done that to the herb garden. Yeah, it's like somebody deliberately tried to destroy it. I mean, they, they did literally destroy the orphan orphanage, but they destroyed the things around it as well, so... It would be expensive to replace this. Maybe someone was trying to bully out the matron for the land? irreplaceable memories of this place. Why? How? How could someone do something like this? I'm sorry. I'm just so confused. I... Uh... You're not alone in that feeling. I barely know the place, and this bothers the heck out of me too. It's hard to believe that anyone could be capable of something so awful. But the matron and the kids are all okay, so we can be thankful for that, right? While well, I was on my way here, all I could think about was that they're fine, they're alive, Adidas was watching over them. Well, we heard that they're all at the inn in Minoria, safe and sound. We just finished up here, so we're planning to go see them. Do you want to come with us? Certainly seems busy. Did something happen? What about that? There was. Last night I saw the eastern sky turn red, and the stars were hidden from view by rising smoke. I sent young men from the village to combat the blaze, but we couldn't save the orphanage. At least there's some small comfort to be found in the fact that no one was hurt. Zack tore out of here last night when he found out about the fire. I suppose he's still trying to help out over there. He really is very a very dependable person. Kids crying upstairs. What in the world happened? No kidding. Oh, that's a real academy uniform. Is your name Chloe by any chance? Uh, the children in the orphanage talk about you a great deal. 
They're all upstairs in the big room. You should go and see them whenever you have the chance. I went ahead and let the kids use my room. If you wouldn't mind, could you go up and try to cheer them up a bit? Have I? Yes. Nope, wrong room. I is okay. Thank goodness. I'm a f I'm a little worried that the matron might be pre not as okay though. Yep, since someone con contacted the guild. We're investigating the incident and thought we'd stop by. Who done it? Um I missed breakfast, so I was thinking about getting some food. Good boys and girls who join me will get some sweet treats. happy to have her around. Now, you were saying? Please tell me what you can. Our investigation is revealed. Yeah. It does appear that it was set deliberately. I've always been very careful about fire, so I suspected it might be something like that. Whoever was responsible must have had some kind of motivation. I have no idea. We have no real money to speak of, nor has anyone ever borne a grudge against us. We have to acknowledge the possibility that someone did this just for fun. Did you happen to notice anything unusual leading up to or during the incident? Any strange people hanging around, for instance? The us, notwithstanding. <laughs> Not during the daytime when you were there, but afterwards. Though I can't imagine he would do something like this. While we were trying to escape from the burning building, the beams fell in and blocked our way through the entry hall. But then he showed up and helped us all get free. Was it a gate? I bet it was a gate. We owe him our lives. Right after he helped us, he called the villagers over and left in the confusion. I asked the other villagers about him, but no one seemed to know anything. He was a man, maybe in his late 20s. He also had brilliant silver hair. Not a gate then. He had a troubled look about him, though, that made him seem far older than he looked. But he didn't strike him as a bad man. Wait a second. No. It can't be Lucius either. He has hair the same color as Estelle. What is it, Joshua? He recognizes the silver hair comment. Uh, yeah. He seems suspicious, but not 
Not the setting fires in the night kind of suspicious. Not the arsony kind of suspicious. <laughs> Pardon me. They're downstairs having some dessert. Major Theresa, you have a guest. Pardon my intrusion. That's the mayor! Hmm. Oh, so the braces I met yesterday are here as well. Jean's reputation for responding quickly is well earned. Now then. It is good to see you again, Matron Theresa. After I heard what happened, I came over as quickly as I could. I'm glad that you are safe. It's very kind of you to come by. I know you're a very busy man. Nonsense. It is my responsibility to look after all areas of the region. More to the point, those who did this must not be allowed to get away with it. Joseph always loved that place. Such an atrocity. Allow me to express my most heartfelt condolences. Hmm. I imagine so. Whoever he is. My sole regret is that all my mementos of him were lost to the fire. Tell me, Bracers, have you any thoughts on who might have done this? We've only just begun our investigation, so it's too early to say, sir. It does look like it was done uh, deliberately, however. Possibly just out of... Really? I don't know about that. That is a terrible thought. Pardon me, Mayor. Do you think that these people might have a hand in this? Those people? Okay, well, you're gonna say the ravens, and then we're gonna go chase up the ravens. But there's no fucking way the ravens did this. I don't think so, anyway. I think it is extremely unlikely that the ravens are responsible. Mm. On the other hand, I could see a political figure wanting to get rid of the delinquents by framing them for burning down an orphanage and then also getting good, uh, some really nice publicity by helping to fix it up again afterwards. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe this, I mean, I think this is the kind of game where that something like that might happen. <laughs> so far, most of the people in charge that we have seen have been, like, pretty competent, like, generally well-meaning people. But I can't help but be a little suspicious. Trailer for burden in an orphanage. It's isolated, so there's no chance of the fire catching elsewhere. Um, there's a high... The citizens are going to be an uproar. You have your perfect excuse to lock them all up. Uh, and then, yeah, you get a huge popularity boost because the citizens like it that you're helping out to fix up the orphanage afterwards. Wait, I'm sorry? I missed, so I missed something there because I was too busy talking. Um, who is friends with the matron? I think it would be best to let the bracers identify and locate the ones responsible. Okay, so if he was trying to frame them, then I think he would not have taken this approach. He... The... If, like, both narratively and also, like, as actual effectiveness -ly. Yeah. Narratively, if he was trying to frame the ravens, he, they would be pushing more in that direction. Like, these two, specifically. Hmm. 
We have a modest reserve of Mira, but the cost will be phenomenal. I was afraid of that. Well, I have a proposal of so sorts for you. At the Delmore Estate in Grenzel, I have a villa. It's only used for special occasions, so... What say you, you to having the children stay there for a little while? Of course, charging rent would be a particularly boorish of me. You'd be welcome to stay there for as long as the rebuilding process takes. But the villa sits unused. If you, ha if you have misgivings, then I will grant you control of the grounds. Think of it as a well-deserved reward, if you will. It is really generous. I feel- Also, he didn't- uh, Yeah. Okay. I think the mayor is legit now. <laughs> I'm not so sure about his assistant, but I think the mayor himself is actually legitimate. Um... Silver hair before. That's gonna bother me. Yeah, I guess. He certainly—he is certainly the generous type, on par with Mayor Maybell. What do you intend to do in regards to the mayor's offer, Matron? Well, what do you think of the situation? Conventional wisdom dictates that you should accept it. However, once you've gone to Grantsel... Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, that's true. If she does go to Grantsel, it's going to be hard for her to come back. Also hard for Chloe to visit. I mean, maybe it wouldn't be hard for her to come back, but it certainly would be hard for... Like, you're not making visits to another region, I think. Uh, not gonna make day trips for that. The herb garden and the people I care about would be gone. So, with you and Joseph gone, I feel like all of my good memories will fade away. I'm so sorry, I'm just being stupid and selfish. But... Though the memories are precious, having a place to live is of the utmost importance. I believe this will all be settled soon. Please try to focus on tending to the campus festival for now. The children are really looking forward to it. I still am Joshua. I wish I could be of more help, but I must leave the investigation in your hands. Yeah, let's do it, I guess. No, please don't get please don't get the royal involved as well. He probably is though. Man, that would be a big scandal. He he would be disowned, probably. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I'm sorry. My mind is just all over the place right now. By the way, Joshua was Matron Thress's husband, right? He died several years ago, but he meant a great deal to me as well. Uh, no, nothing like that. He just did a huge favor for me a long time ago. We grew up close we grew close again when it came to ruin to attend the academy. Hmm. He was like a father to me, but the shock I experienced was nothing compared to that of the matron and the other children. But we managed somehow. Clem's gone. Oh no.
After the old man showed up, Clem went upstairs. In a couple of minutes, he came back down all red in the face, saying, They're not getting away with this. Oh, Clem has gone to after the ravens because... He's a little kid who's jumped to conclusions. Uh, much like Gilbert, <coughs> actually. He definitely... I mean, yeah, the orphans are arsonists, but no, he's he, he's going after the gang at the warehouse. Uh... I mean, yeah, I'm a little worried. <laughs> I think he'll, well, hmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not good. 